interesting uh, training situation that we've been uh, presented here. Very, very typical. The person has come in with a uh, laptop computer here. This particular model being a Toshiba Satellite A10. And uh, like a lot of uh, laptop computers, they tend to eventually get uh, set with a uh, BIOS password. Now, a BIOS password is completely different from the Windows password, and this password is prompted from the uh, actual motherboard chips themselves. So this is a password that gets prompted immediately upon startup. Right after the black screen, the password shows up and it won't let you get into Windows or the hard drive or whatever. This is an obvious security feature since this is a mobile computer and it could potentially get left behind somewhere and present a security risk to the company. So that's the uh, basis behind most BIOS passwords and why they're put into place. And in this case here, um, the user has accidentally put the BIOS password on and doesn't no longer remember what the password is. Now there's generally no way around these BIOS passwords. Uh, using any kind of software and fixes and, and things like that. Now they do provide uh, dongles, uh, with a dongle is a particular attachment that would go into the printer port and that would override the BIOS password. But the only way to get the dongle is to be able to prove that you are the owner of this laptop to the manufacturer. They will send you the dongle, unlock your own computer. This costs money. Uh, most providers would uh, charge somewhere around three hundred dollars to have this service done. So what I'm going to do here today is show you how to do this entirely on your own, and how to unlock the BIOS password with Toshiba Satellite A10. Oops. And uh, look, a lot of computers they have BIOS passwords. In other words, you can lock out any user from actually even being able to start up the computer altogether, even to access the hard drive itself. So in this case, the user had lent out this laptop. Uh, to another person and a BIOS password had gotten programmed into it. Of course, they don't know what the password actually is. So when the computer starts up, this is what it actually shows, just password prompt, and you have three tries to try it, and of course it restarts. There is no way around this in most cases in most laptops. Uh, now the Toshiba uh, model and a lot of others, they have something called a dongle uh, that will uh, bypass this. BIOS password. Well, the dongle typically would plug into the printer port on the back of a laptop. And what the dongle does is it plugs into here and it usually uh, jumpers from one connection to another in a certain sequence um, that's very unique to the dongle itself. And uh, when you order this dongle, it'll allow you to bypass the uh, BIOS password on the laptop. Now, of course, they always do a security check to make sure that you're actually the owner or purchaser of the laptop before they sell you the dongle to bypass this. Uh, what we're going to try and do here today is actually create our own dongle by rewiring everything from scratch. Um, so we're going to follow some instructions we got off the internet. We're going to try and create this dongle and bypass this BIOS password so this person can start up this laptop. So uh, here we go. All right. So what we're going to try and use is a dongle here. It's typically a uh, uh, printer port that the dongles always go into on a computer, which connects directly to, of course, the, uh, the motherboard and the BIOS and everything in there. So what we're going to try and do is modify this old printer cable. Now that's all this cable really is, is an old printer cable. What I've done is actually uh, smashed apart the uh, end here on this end to expose all the wires inside. And uh, if you look really carefully, um, they're actually uh, labeled by numbers. So each one of those uh, pins in there have a number associated with it. And what we're going to do is follow the instructions. Uh, we've got the internet to uh, jumper these cables together to simulate the actual real dongle that would cost money to buy. So the instructions that we got here off the, uh, the internet, uh, I'm going to show you here, instructs us to twist these wires together, uh, oops, right here, which as you can see is 1, 5, 10, 2, 11. All of the connectors on the actual pin itself are labeled inside with tiny little numbers. So there's no reason really not to, uh, to get confused or anything like that. It should all be in there. So that's what we're going to try and do right now is uh, twist together these, uh, wire, uh, these uh, wire sequences right here. And we'll go ahead and do that. I've just snipped the one. Now I'm looking for the five, which is very, very tiny. One, three, five. Five is Mr. Yellow. Cutting Mr. Yellow. So one and five are cut. Ready for combination. And now I'm looking for number ten. Nine, ten is purple. <coughs> 
So I snip number 10, Mr. Purple. And now, as what you can see, is I've got the three, one, three, and ten. And I'm going to twist these together after I strip them. And they don't really require soldering after. So I'm going to repeat this process for all the other combinations. And uh, we'll go for All right, it looks like we're completed making our uh, homemade big dongle here. And what I've basically done is uh, chopped off the other end and just slid it down to the one connector that we actually uh, require here. And so as per following the instructions, we twisted the wires together. We're basically causing a favorable short out that simulates a hardware dongle. Now getting back to why we were creating all of this, looking at this uh, Toshiba satellite laptop that's been locked down with an uncrackable BIOS password. Taking our uh, homemade rigged dongle here, and what I've basically done is uh, chopped off the other end and just slid it down to the one connector that we actually uh, require here. And so as per following the instructions, we twisted the wires together, we're basically causing a uh, favorable short out that simulates a hardware dongle. Now getting back to why we were creating all of this, looking at this uh, Toshiba satellite laptop that's been locked down with an uncrackable BIOS password. Here's the uh, back of the uh, Toshiba satellite A10. Here's the printer port, and this is how the dongle is actually applied. Let's see my twisted up wires here. It's just simply a printer connector with appropriate shorting out, with favorable shorting out. And I am going to put this in place very delicately right into the printer port, squeezing it on there nice and tightly. Making sure none of these wires are touching each other or shorting out, because that will definitely fry this computer beyond recognition. Now with this hack in place, you flip this baby open, turn it on, and as you can see from the startup screen, no more BIOS password, it lets us straight into Windows, it'll even resume Windows right from its last current state before it was locked out. Voilà.